Richard, thank you so much for joining us. That's right. Auto enrolment's been a huge success, 30% more people in pension schemes in the UK, but there's still an awful lot to be done in terms of engagement, true engagement, isn't there? That's absolutely right. So auto enrolment has worked through passivity. What we do is we automatically enrol people. They can choose to leave if they want to, but they're auto enrolled. If what we want to do is get better retirement incomes for all, which is our mission statement, then we've got an awful lot of work to do between uh, when them joining and them actually retiring. Uh, so at this conference, I'm going to be talking about trust and getting more trust into the system because if there's more trust in the system, we'll get better retirement outcomes for all. What's the trust problem been and, and why is that and why is it so crucial? So there have been lots of scandals over the years which have contributed to trust. But you know, every single year we pay billions of pounds to millions of people and we do that mostly without error or omission. But I, we think it's those little errors and omissions that can cause us the problem. So we've got to, be, we've got to take care about those. Um, what's got to be done in order to fix the, si uh, the situation? There's a whole list of things that we're suggesting and we've put a guide up on our stand so you can go and grab a copy of it and have a read through that. And it's trust at every point of that agreement between the, the customer and the pension scheme, if you like, as well, because it's not just when they invest to start with, but it's when they come to the end of that yeah. period and they need to take that money out. Yes, so they've got to trust us to make the right investment decisions for them while their pot's growing. They've got to trust us enough to talk to us at the times that they've got to make the critical decisions at retirement. And actually, even more fundamentally than that, they've got to trust that the pension scheme will pay something out. So what message do you hope the professionals, 1,500 of them who are here at this conference, will take away with them this week? Go and grab a copy of our guide, have a read of it, and challenge yourself. Are we being trustworthy, uh, and are we appearing to be trustworthy in doing everything that we can to build trust with the same? Richard, thank you so much. Thank you.